Uh, I'm here on the bridge of the Halcyon. I'm speaking with, what was your name again? Saja Milam. Saja Milam. Could you spell that? Or? Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, M I um, apostrophe L or A M. Okay. Yes. So between High Galactic and uh, Oribesh, we've got to. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I believe I, earlier I saw you um, meditating up there. Oh, yes, above up on the, the mezzanine. Yes. Atrium on the balcony up there. And then um, I saw you in the climate simulator. Uh, and uh, later on I saw uh, you had spoken to some younglings, kind of brought them down to the climate simulator. And uh, at that point I, I witnessed something that I actually had never seen before. Um, can you, I guess, I guess my first question is, uh, what, what is your religion? Uh, what, what do you practice? Uh, well, it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a religion as much as it, it is, it is, like you said, a practice. Uh, I do study the Jedi and the ways of the Jedi, and more importantly, the Force. And something that I find to be very balancing is going into that climate simulator and thinking about how the galaxy is so expansive and that the force continues to be all around us even though we might be on different journeys throughout the galaxy and no matter where you are the force it connects all of us and so the saja we study the ways of the jedi but we are not jedi ourselves i've studied the ways of the jedi myself and i've found them to be historically factual, but before today I honestly uh, hadn't experienced anything that I could uh, attribute to the Force. So you're, you're telling me that what I saw in the climate simulator is actual physical documented, now that I've got in a hologram, Force usage. Uh, well, it's one of those things that there are certain, well, I'm sensing that there's a lot of passengers on this voyage that are very sensitive to the Force, and some of them are even more Force aware, and we, the Saja, some of us do have that sense of when someone has a strong connection to the Force, and I noticed that in the Abbey, and I wanted to see if maybe I was right, and I was. She has a very strong connection to the Force, and, and while she did, uh, she was able to connect with that rock and be able to use the Force to bring it closer to her. I, I told her that it's, it's not just about that because the Force is actually much stronger than moving things. It's, it's about connecting with others and your journey throughout the galaxy and that energy that surrounds all of us and brings all of us together. Last question. Mm -hmm. You can honestly tell me be honest with me. I don't have to tell anyone if you admit this. There was no trickery involved in what I saw today, on your part. No, of course not. Uh, that, that, that was Abby doing that. And that was, honestly, that was everyone in that room. I, we, the Saja, are transparent. And we try to follow the ways of the Force. And the Force is neutral. We don't choose sides. We don't. We, we simply follow the ways of the Force. And the Force it's really strong with Abby, and honestly, it was with everyone in that room. I don't think that she would have been able to do that if the Force was not strong and connected every single being in that room the way it did. And I'm really honored that you were able to witness that because it, that does not happen very often, especially since, uh, from what I've heard, the Jedi are, are extinct. There's very few Jedis left in the galaxy, and to see that hope still there within a youngling is remarkable. I know that there are some people out there claiming to be Jedi, mm -hmm. but I haven't met one myself. I'm, I'm hoping to, to get an interview like this, but uh, I thank you for your time. Thank you. And uh, I, hope that, I hope that you're telling the truth, I guess is what I'll say. Well, I want you to know that all of the Saja, we, we are very adamant about honesty and transparency and doing what is right. Thank you. Thank you. Slow to go. Trekking in again. I'm 
actually in the ship's brig. It's midday on the second day here on the Halcyon and I just had to find a place to get away from everyone. And they told me this brig was left over from earlier days of the ship and you can kind of lock yourself in and let yourself out. But I just had to stop and think for a moment because I saw something that may have shattered my view of the galaxy. And I had a conversation with someone who may have confirmed what I never believed to be true. It might be a fluke, but I'll keep an open mind as the rest of the rest of the day goes on. I think for now, uh, I'm gonna go join the Sabak tournament because I need something a little more grounded in this universe. Go to go out. Here we go, Solution Blue Shrimp. I guess I have an audience now for this. You mind watching him eat this blue shrimp real quick? They're waiting. Stormtroopers are waiting. That is affirmative. It is very good. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. That's a recommend. Lieutenant Croy has blockaded the ship. Did you see it? Did you see that? And now we are surrounded by TIE fighters. <coughs> he will not stop until he has shut the ship down and turned all of us into the First Order. We can't let that happen, can we? No. no. All right, allies, let me tell you this. My friend Chewbacca, he has a plan. Take a look at this schematic. Come over here. As you can see, this shows that everything on the ship is connected to this engineering room. This is the beginning of the plan. In this engineering room, we have seven different stations. I cannot do this on my own, and this is why we've called you here. At these seven different stations, first, we need to shut down the ship, put it into override, ready the systems, and then reconnect the systems perfectly for the plan to work. Are you with me? Yes. yes. Excellent. Next, over here, who found this crate on Batu? You did, you did. Excellent. You actually got it away from the First Order. Well done, my friends. Inside are the data tapes. These data tapes are the key to putting the ship into override. Now, we do have seven stations. I'm gonna explain the rest, but for now, I'm going to assign you your stations, but please don't go until I give the signal. The signal is, ignite the spark. Light the fire. All right, here's what I need from you. You see these lights on the console. These lights will match the lights on the mechanisms that need to be adjusted. 
Once again, remember, teamwork, countdown, adjust at the same time, together as one, yes? Yes. Now, I will give you the signal to press this button again to get us out of override. We only have a short amount of time when we get the signal from the chronometer. Are you ready, my friends? Yes. yes. Ignite the spark. Light the fire. In three, two, one, now. Everyone, I need you to take a moment. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Here we go. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> Excellent. Now that is teamwork. My friends, that is the resistance. Come on. Come on. ready the, the stations is to inject that coaxium into the power core. So if and probably when Lieutenant Corey shuts down the ship, we'll be able to start it right back up, jump into hyperspace, and get away from this blockade. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, every single one of you did that. This is to the engineering. Please press that button and tell her I'm, I'm here. Make us here. bigger than even I imagined. So Ray is aboard the ship. Please tell her, copy that and thank you. Copy that, thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. All right. Eyes and ears open. Ignite the spark. Light, Light the, fire. the fire. My friends, take a look around, just for a moment. You're not just a team anymore. We are now family in the fight for the resistance, for the freedom of the galaxy. Everything that you've done here change the face of history. Ignite the spark. Ignite the fire. There's a ray. Enlisted to help Gaia's manager, Wraith Cole, with sort of a heist like scheme. It's not something I would ordinary, ordinarily involve myself with, but it does involve an ancient heirloom, and for that reason, it interests me. So, my documentarian is doing some lightsaber training right now, which doesn't interest me as, as much given my recent history with lightsabers and what happened with Doc Ondar. So I'm gonna help with this heist and I'll keep the camera rolling as much as I can. We'll see how it goes. Well, so we don't have a lot of time to get this done. Um, so we're gonna move pretty quickly. So I need everyone to stay focused. All right, thank you all, first off, for being here. Yes, sir. This is uh, it's very important to Guy and I. Um, who wants to share why we're here? What are we after today? Who knows? Yeah. The stone, the, uh, the high and an yeah. That's exactly right. Who knows what that high and an means to the people around? It means everything. It's their history. It's their history. It's what you nice stuff. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> um, the high and an is the mother of the singing stones of Rhyme. This is a singing stone. It's the way that Twi'leks who were enslaved and ripped from their families to keep in touch with each other. They all resonate at the same frequency, and that frequency is set. The funny thing about uh, the high and and stones like it is uh, it also resonates in hyperspace, which means which means it can be used to navigate, which means they were often used 
and hyperspace compasses back when we used such things to navigate. Luckily, we have computers for that now, so we don't need that hyperspace compass, which means that that stone up there, I think, okay, needs to be liberated. Let's do it. Let's do it. I love it. Excellent. And that's when the game begins. And that will be our cue to go. Now, each of us have different jobs during this. Okay, and I'm about to spell those out for us now. Latico. Yes. You are a master of antiquities, is that right? I, I've never self-applied master, but uh, right. certainly have experience with the subject. Right, but you're an expert in your field. I would say so, yes. Absolutely. Um, Oh, oh, and that, my friends, is how you play Bespin Shift. Oh, uh, yeah, so it's really simple. Yeah. 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 Not a problem at all. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, listen, if you clap every time I do something excellent, we'll be here all night, right? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Cole. Yes, uh, Captain. What exactly Lilla. are you doing in my cargo hallway? We were just uh, learning how to... Uh, I'm in the Sabacc tournament. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to win. He had some pointers. That's exactly right. right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Mr. Over. What, I missed it? No, there's a oh, one. there's a second one. There's a private one. That's not been updated. Real. In fact, uh, we were we were going to make our own little tournaments, except we weren't playing for credits. Mm -hmm. We were going to be playing drinks for drinks. Ah. Yeah, just like that time on uh, Corsa. Okay. Remember that? Very well. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that time on Corsa. Mystical. <laughs> <laughs> now I know you well enough to know that I should be rather suspicious about this right now. Is there something I should know about? Does this look like a suspicious face to you? <laughs> yeah. No, but this one does. <laughs> <laughs> She's got to get out of that kind of thing. Watch it out. Right. Unfortunately, I'm tracking down Lieutenant Croy and my droid. Huh. Or I would wait to hear more of these rules. Oh, for the moment, no, I would advise you all to make sure though. you do not play for credits with Mr. Cole. He will rob you blind. Oh, I don't know. The last time we played, the night was a, uh, let's just say, a beautiful blue blur to me. Uh, uh, you pass out to the shrimp bowl, Mr. Cole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that actually explains a lot. Um, so, Viola is going to be a problem. Um, in fact, it changes things slightly. She's going to be upstairs. Uh, I have it on good authority. She'll be crossing through the space that we're trying to occupy. Um, about halfway through our little game, uh, but I have a plan. Okay? So this is the atrium. Everybody know where everything is, right? Great. So, the first thing that happens when I say the cue phrase, which is what again? And Let that's the when the game, game begins. begins. Great, we're going to try that one more time. The cue phrase is? And, and that's when the game begins. begins. Got it too. Very good. All right. I need a couple things to happen. Lotico, I need your expertise. You got I need you to come right to me. Okay. Okay? You and I are going to take a look at this, so to make sure it is the genuine article. Authentic. Okay? You got um, it. Beyond that, I need you to also watch my back. All right? Okay. You're going to be my right-hand man. We'll say that. Okay? Excellent. What we're looking for, we're looking for Minox. Does anybody know what a Minox is? Yep. Yes. yes. What are Minox? Chewing on the power cable. Chewing on the power. They're uh, little pests that cling to the side of ships. Um, in this case, I'm talking about the crew members. <laughs> uh, great. So, I'm here to come straight to me, okay? Uh, I need you to keep it, uh, a lookout for anybody who could be problems. That's like a mock, as much as she's wonderful. Um, that, that mechanic kid, Sandy, I think his name is, whatever it is. Um, Lieutenant Croy, anybody who comes near me, okay? okay? Right? Can you do that? And let you know if anyone comes Let me know if it's coming. You're going to go to them, talk to them, waylay them, talk to them about something, uh, maybe okay. about antiquity, something you know a lot about. Sure. Okay? Yeah. And I'll come over and dismiss them. But more than anything else, just stick near me. Okay. okay? And you got to do what I say. Can you do that? I am 100% well, on board. Spectacular. Excellent. I knew you would be. All right. Excellent. Uh, I also need someone to take care of. Uh, yeah, you're okay. Um, Sandro. So who here has met Sandro? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Sandra. Sandra. Yeah, Sandra. A nice kid. Plays a Halleck yeah. I think. Is yeah, you. Thank you. Um, if you get into trouble, come find me. Um, our goal upstairs is to be nice and subtle and to make sure that nobody knows anything untoward is happening. All right? Now, in about one minute, she's about to start that announcement. Any final questions for my crew? All right. For Ryloth. Let's get going. All right. All right. Let's get going. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, I would just love to have your attention for one moment. I have met a lot of wonderful travelers on this journey, but I have met someone who has stood out amongst the crowd who 
appreciated my music and my message to my people. So everyone, I would like to introduce to you my biggest fan, Bobby. What was your favorite part about the show last night? Your song, Coaxium. Coaxium? What did you love about that? No, no, please. <laughs> ah, you love how fast-paced it was. Beautiful. Great. That's my biggest fan. Absolutely. <laughs> I friend, Bob. This is Bobby. Bobby. Yeah, I'm a good friend. Uh, Jason, so good to see you as well. Uh, now, right now, Sammy, now I'm talking to Jason. How are you? Uh, <laughs> I just have to say, this is no surprise to me at all. When, I, when we first met, I knew we were a good company. And friends, uh, can we just get a round of applause for Bobby here for being guy's biggest man? Isn't that just lovely? That emotion? Yeah. Now, Bobby, here's the thing about a I think it teaches you who someone really is. Because we are fans of things that we believe in, right? Now, I don't play the game of fan. Because obviously, I think I'm your biggest fan, but, uh, I'm happy to have some competition. But I do play a lot of Sabak. And what I know about Sabak is, much like being a fan, it shows you who people are. It shows you what they're willing to risk. It shows you who they are when they feel like the chips are down and they're out of the gun. And when you really know the people you're playing with, when you go head to head to head to head and see it in their eyes, that, my friends, is when the game begins. Now, one more round of applause for Bobby, guys, biggest fan. Thank you so much. Uh, so, so I think we're good. Uh, so the one... What a great distraction. That is a great distraction. It's just a bit early. So, we can use it, we can use it. Yeah, Justin, all right. <laughs> okay, um, so that's certainly not going to uh, pull the people out from behind the, high, behind the desk like we thought, okay. but we can, uh, we can adjust, that's fine. Um, gives us some things to do. You're where you're supposed to be. Here's what we need to do. I'm sorry. Sammy wants my attention. Hey, Tico, can you go talk to Sammy? Yeah. Um, tell him I'll be right with him, all right? Just uh, tell him something. Yeah. Sammy. Tico, how are you? just wanted to tell you a little story about uh, what happened uh, down on Batu today. I wonder if oh, you could how did uh, it, well, what down on Batu today? Yeah, yeah, I would love to hear it. So, uh, as you know, I, I used to work for Doc Ondar, and I... I uh, oh went down there and visit him. I was going to sell him this old antique lightsaber. And uh, I don't wait, know if you've ever wait, seen wait, one. Wait, 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 Is that the... I was looking at you on a manifest. Yeah. Yeah. Tico. Yeah. What about... Yeah. Yeah. Used to, yeah, used to work for Doc Honda. The Imperial uh, Academy? Uh, okay, well, Just that was a long second. time ago. Look, that was that was pre that was pre Death, Death Star two. Yeah, yeah, a long, a long time ago. I, I have no, I I, I lost all faith in the Empire. I, I you know, sure. it's, just, uh, it's a different time, you know, different yeah. time in the galaxy. Yeah, yeah. No, I have no uh, no love for the Empire, no love for the First Order, anything of course, like that. Of course, but, I understand. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a different time. You know, uh, there's always been turmoil in the galaxy, no matter where. Yeah, but uh, no. If I could uh, just show you yeah. this, I, I just you know this is. Uh, I thought for sure this was the Prime Jedi. That's lightsaber what I was thinking because, too. Uh, yeah, I've been searching for this my entire life since I started my. Well, Tico, yeah. Hey, thank you so much. I can't. I, I don't have a lot of time right now. Uh, we're obviously very busy. So Wait. what's going on? Yes. I um, uh, need to talk we, to you. Really what quick. are we? Why are we creeping over? Um, yeah, it's fine. Yes, what's going on, kid? Uh, you, I just want to let you know yep. that I talked with Lenka. Uh -huh. and yes. <laughs> Yes, we are, we are, we are aligned. We are aligned. That's right. Go awesome. tell them to play a different song. Go tell them. Wraith wants you to play a different song. Any, any other song? Any other That's 
the worst. All right, that was a close one. Um, all right, so problems. We need to take care of stormtroopers, okay? Um, so find my friends with black napkins and tell them we need to keep the stormtroopers up by this window, okay? And then come back to me. T keep them by the window. Keep them by that window. Okay. Who else has what are we hat? doing? What are we doing? We need to keep the stormtroopers by this window. You can't let them leave the window. Tell anybody else who has black napkins. How do you keep the armor so clean, so polished? Your allegiance seems misplaced. That's a total non sequitur. Anyone yeah, needs a photo, a uh, form an orderly queue. They'll be uh, for the next 10 15 minutes, they're going to be taking photos. <laughs> photos, a photo with the stormtrooper. Remember your trip with the photo with the stormtrooper. Anybody need a photo? Image, pick up your image taken with the stormtrooper right here. Anyone? <laughs> Images with stormtrooper, it's happening right here. Keeping them out there. Is everything okay? We started a photo, we started an image session, so everybody is uh, lining up to get images. Oh, that's spectacular. That's, that's a really good idea. That wasn't me, or one of the other black napkin people. I, so I can't take credit. Okay, hey, no, that's great. Um, yeah, all right, that'll keep them away late. They're good there. The one thing that I'm worried about is Rio's patrol route takes her from her quarters to the bridge in the next five minutes or so. Okay. I, Wait, which uh, one's Rio? Uh, she's Captain Keeper. Oh, Rio so, Keevan. I'm hey, sorry. Hey, yes, hey, I'm going to see you. Good day. Um, uh, you're looking to help, yeah? Yeah. Okay. We need to make sure that those stormtroopers stay where they're at. Okay. We're getting ready to take a, a home scan. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Oh, and by the way, you see guy and I need to know what some of the other things are going on. Okay, good. And then last but not least, our drama club. We need to sort that because that didn't go the way it was supposed to. What about Captain Keevan? Captain Keevan, I, uh, I have some people on it. make a play for the stuff. Okay. In the meantime, I think, uh, how about you propose a divorce? Could do that. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, let's say that, uh, your proposal, by the way, is that, is that program with Did you actually propose? Yeah, no, uh, like 12 years ago. Oh, nice, very nice. Um, so, congratulations, by the way. Let's say that, Oh, gotcha. Oh, like, like, yes, that's exactly right. Yeah. Um, so, you can listen, I'll do this. 
Okay. Wait for those things to stand on the turtles. Yeah. 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 Good, good. Yeah. My friends with the uh, the black bands, we're yeah. about to have a major announcement yeah. over there. Okay. Yeah. okay. When it happens, make sure they make a lot of noise and draw focus over there. Yeah. And when you see Guy and I meet in the center of the atrium, the rest is the cargo bay to sell it. Okay. All right. That's all you need to know. Head over there to the turbo list for now. Here's what needs to happen. As soon as they're all pulled away, I'm going to make a play for it. Okay? I don't, one thing I could see is there's that little door. Maybe that to where it's not connected to the ship's radio. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of slicing it tonight. You're going from behind. Yes. Okay. What I need you to do is stand just like this. If, uh, that's spectacular. That was a brilliant idea. Um, really, really nice work. It's keeping them up there. It's great. Okay? Um, it's Captain, uh, she's almost to the lounge. Okay. Okay. If, any, if anything goes wrong, I'm going to pass you to stop. Okay? You are holding the soul of a girl. And there's space ready in my bag. Okay. Yep. Only if things go wrong. Probably should. Okay. Right. 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 It's a good idea. Um, meet me by that holo column. Give that. Meet you by where? That holo column right there. Okay. Give that star to me. Okay. okay. Or it's not to even got it. Well, if it comes to it. In fact, actually, we'll see how this goes. Guy or I. Right? If you never ask you, but nobody else, we don't have it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. We got this. Uh, all right. She's in the park. All right. Uh, this is my job. <laughs> All right. Um, everyone, they're about to, there's a proposal happening over there. You better go take a mom scan of it. You got to go look and see the traditions. Passcode, take a guess. Uh, uh, the F-O-R-C-E? Force. F-O-R-C-E. Uh, 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 oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hydro Spanner? Do you have one? Yeah, no. Five letters. Five letters. Um, five letters. This is too many. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, um. He got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. I saw him. I saw him something out. Yes, absolutely. I was just trying to get one of these cookies. Richard Hall, please remove yourself. I don't want to be a service. I'm going to ask me to empty my pockets like a common criminal. Oh, man. Is this how Shantwood treats its VIP guests? That's what I would like to know. Viola, I am anything but common. It's very true, but you do stand by the word that you are indeed a criminal, Mr. Cole. Please empty your pocket. All right, so you know what? Viola wants to see me empty my pockets. Should I empty my pockets on the yeah. go? I don't think you have anything to hide. Yeah, you know what? I've got nothing to hide. Fine. So, uh, nothing in that pocket. I have uh, a room key in this pocket. And, uh, back here. Just, just a uh, couple of uh, Sabat cards. I don't suppose you'd like to pat me down, real well. <laughs> Do you think I'm I put something back in my pocket? I have no idea what you're talking about. But listen, I know now that you can easily reach the uh, the lovely little Shangela cookies from the front. So you won't send me back there again. I can guarantee you that. What's that? There's nothing in my pocket. 
There's nothing in my pocket. No, no, he's really. He's just got cookies. Would you like to grab me down? Go ahead. Not you. <laughs> All right. Uh, I absolutely will. Uh, ladies, I think I, my name has been cleared, and I will take no further aspersions to my character from passengers and crew members alike. Um, yeah. So, uh, everyone, take note. This is how Shangela treats its valued guests. <laughs> um, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Glad to be a friend. Of course. Well, what's that? You saw the very first stone, right? Oh, yeah, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at it. Friends, we're going to go to the engineering room instead. Come, come, come. My friends, look at all of you, everyone who showed up for a righteous cause. Give yourselves a round of applause. Because, Dominic, I am happy to report that we have achieved the high in the air. <laughs> but, Dominic, it wasn't I that did this, it was everyone in this room. First off, where, uh, where were the people who are waylaid Riola? Come here, come here. Where's Wendy? Uh, we, we somebody else was helping us. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, do you feel comfortable speaking for them? Well, I'm going to have to, aren't I? I think so, yes. What did you say to Riola to well, get her away? So well, I, I told her the guy needed to talk to her right away. But our other companion said that he went, yes, come on up. Were, tell uh, your oh, story. Yes, absolutely. What did you say to Riola? That, uh, tell the story. That we were going to write a song about the Halcyon in the 275th anniversary, but needed some information. That is such a killer. That is such a brilliant lie. Hey, give them a round of applause. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, and where was uh, there, my uh, my drama dude? So uh, I uh, I think a congratulations are in order, although about 17 years too late, I heard. Oh. Yeah, something like that. But I'm going to have returns on their marriage. Very nice. Excellent. Guys, biggest fan, thank you so much for providing our distraction at the top. But where is Lodico? Come forward. Travelers, friends. Oh, there he is. This uh, man held the Hyannanea in his hand when all was lost. When Riola had me turn out my pockets like a thief, he held this stone, the soul of the Twi'lek people, held this stone in his hand until it was safe so it can be successfully returned to the tree like people. Now, Lodico, I understand you are a purveyor, an expert in antiquities, is that correct? Something of an expert, yes. I try to be humble, you know. It's... No, I understand. <laughs> Gaia, can you hear the stone song? Yes? Will you, uh, will you verify that this is, in fact, the Hyannanea Forest? Give me one second. <laughs> I'm bad for the job. Look at this. This looks to be the genuine article. Yeah! <laughs> that is spectacular! Now, now, uh, Dominic, I've dreamed of giving this stone back to you since we were young wings on Ryloth, but I don't think I'm the one to do it. Lodico, hero to the Twi'lek people, will you please return the stone to its rightful owners? Absolutely. <laughs> something for you, but you have found something for us. I feel like I found a lot more. Travelers, friends, one, two, three, for Ryloth. Ready? One, two, three, for Ryloth! <laughs> Domling, would you like to say a few words? I actually feel at a loss for words. I don't know what each of you did in order to pull off this mission. But I want to thank you for having faith and trust in Wraith and his vision in order to get the stone back to my people. 
I know that we had to lie and had to put yourself out there in an uncomfortable way um, in order to bring this to me. But I thank you for that. I appreciate your efforts and I am going to take this home right away to my people and I thank you so much. Thank you for your belief. Thank you. <laughs>